trapped by Nahausha. One day while hunting in the forest, Bhim was caught in the coils of a giant python. This was no ordinary snake. He spoke. I was once Nahausha, descendant of Purava, said the python. I was so great a king that I was made the temporary ruler of Amravati by the Devas while their king Indra was away, meditating to cleanse himself of a crime he had committed. While in paradise I got to sit on Indra's elephant and wield his thunderbolt. This new found power so corrupted me that I felt that I should have access to Indra's wing such. The queen was naturally not amused by my proposition. To teach me a lesson, she said, she would allow me to come to her bed only if I came to her on a palanquin worn by the Saptarishis, the seven celestial guardians of the Vedas. I foolishly agreed and forced the venerable sages to serve as my palanquin bearers. I was in such a hurry to reach Sachi's palace that I kicked Rishi Agastya on the head because he was walking too slowly. Agastya was so infuriated with my open display of lust and disrespect that he said I was unbecoming of the position bestowed upon me by the gods. He cursed me to fall from the skies and return to earth not as a king, nor even a human, but as a python, forever moving on my stomach, waiting for food to come to me. I will be released from this wretched body the day my descendant called Yudhishthe teaches me the true meaning of Brahman. Bhim tried to tell the python that he was Yudhishthe's brother, but the python did not believe him. He opened his jaws intent on swallowing Bhim. Help, brother, help! Bhim shouted. Hearing Bhim's cry, the Pandav brothers rushed to his rescue. Stop! Don't eat my brother, said Yudhishthir. Eat me instead. I am Yudhishthir, the eldest son of King Pandu. Hearing this name, the serpent stopped. Loosening his grip around Bhim, he said, If you are who you claim to be, Answer my question and you will release not only your brother but also me from this terrible situation. Tell me, who is a Brahman? To this, Yudhishthir, enlightened by his years of discussion with the Rishis, said, He is not the son of a Brahman as most people believe. He is the one who by mastering his senses and by disciplining his mind has attained Brahma Vidya, the knowledge of the eternal, infinite and boundless soul. This makes him content, gentle and generous, for he is the one with truth. Hearing this answer, the serpent was filled with joy. He released Bhim and was himself released from his body. Acquiring a celestial form, he blessed the Pandavas and rose to heaven. The brothers returned to their camp and were received by all who were worried about their long disappearance. As in the dialogue between Yudhishthir and Nahamusha, the Mahabharata repeatedly states that one becomes a Brahman not by birth but by effort. Thus, the epic challenges the traditional understanding of the caste system in the Vedic times. Thank you.